Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Toy Time Machine. Uh, I'm bringing a very special guest. It's my mama. Hi. Hey Keith. Hello, hello. Okay, so mom, what are you going to be looking for today? I have no idea. Anything that catches your eye? Probably that. We'll see. Anything Keith. that's good and cheap. Keith, you're gonna, you're gonna, well, yeah. you're gonna look for tools and stuff, or oh, what? Oh yes. Yeah, tools. What kind of tools are you looking for? Oh, wrench, sockets, anything that's like that. Nice, nice, nice. Mom likes dolphins, <laughs> unicorns, anything like that. Angels. Angels. I don't need to look for an angel. I already have one sitting beside me. You're so fucking cheese. <laughs> Here we are at Lansdale Park for a 123 flea market out with the family. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> hey, okay, so we just paid for parking. Here we are. Got the baby out. Isn't that 613? Oh, geez, yeah, it's 613 flea market. Yeah. What did I say? Uh, one, uh, I don't know, 123? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so 613, 613 flea market. Here we are. We're going to do this big. How big are we going to do it? Big. Big. This is how big we're gonna do it. I'm gonna surprise these guys, they don't know it yet, but I'm gonna give them each $20, and they're gonna have a challenge. They have to spend it all, or they have to pay me back, okay? No. How's that sound? Yeah, they, yeah. they have to spend every that single every single dollar. Okay. Okay. All right, you, can, you guys can buy whatever you want. Doesn't have to be toys and collectibles. Me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what I can find. Um, and then uh, Melissa, she's, I'm not gonna give her shit. <laughs> Not gonna give her nothing. Okay, so when you're a professional picker like me, I got a little secret. You've never seen this. I have a jeweler's loop, okay? So what this is, I'm going blind as hell. So this allows me to see the little little dates and little insignias on, on items. So I have that jeweler's loop. Very cool, right? Professional. There you go. Let's go hunting. Hey, there's a Batman lunchbox right there. It might be the rest of the Ooh. It's a Batman animated series. He's got the thermos. Oh, to buy it. We gotta buy it. Okay, look at that. We've got a Batman lunchbox. It's got a thermos. Everything seems like it's nice and tight, nice and clean. They're asking 20 bucks. I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit of a deal. Okay, okay so I'm interested in this. Okay. They're asking price 20 bucks. See if I can get a little bit of a deal. What can we do? 15. Okay, you know what? For 15 bucks for a nice lunch box, I'm not even gonna hang out. She's, she's being generous. I'll take it. I remember sitting at those uh, in back in the day in the school. You're old as f, huh? Oh, that's old. <laughs> you got a second chance in life. Uh, his knees won't go under them, it's too small. <laughs> it's not his knees though, that's the problem. This is D. Yeah, that's that's right. it. <laughs> Watch, what is it? 10 bucks? 10 bucks. Yeah, yeah, I get off her 7. 7? Okay. There you go. She's gonna take seven. There you go. It's my mom's first flea market hunt. So, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, that's hot. How much? Twenty bucks. There you go. It used to be the toy time machine. Now it's the shirt time machine. There we go. Picking this up here. Found these guys. Maybe I'll pick those up. Got a cool shop there. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so I've got a few comics. Yeah, I found something. Uh, have you got any specials going on today at the flea market? Uh, yeah, if you're asking, I can definitely. I, I want it. I want. Uh, I want a good deal. I gotta. I gotta get a good deal on those. So that's forty-five. I could. Uh, can, I, can I say forty? Can we do thirty? How about thirty-five? You gotta make it look like I win. I need. I need thirty bucks. All right, let's do thirty. All right. I've seen you at Comic Con. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so tell me a little bit about yourself here. That's cool. Um, yeah, so we have a shop uh, near Parkdale Market. And we have a ton more geeks, geeky stuff and uh, antiques and vintage and all that kind of stuff. Awesome. What's your name? Uh, my name is Alana.
What have you spent so far, Mom? I got ten dollars left. Pete hasn't spent nothing. I'm too cheap. Too cheap. So what's that? Ooh, how much you pay for that? Thirty bucks. Yeah, that's leather. Yeah, that's leather. You can you can tell if it's leather by smelling it. One, and then tasting it too. Uh, really? That's that's leather. Yeah, yeah, that's leather. Really? That's how you tell by licking it. Uh, yeah, that's leather. Hey, what's up, buddies? Hey. What are you looking for today? Uh, everything. Yeah. Everything bikes? I haven't seen any bikes. No, no bikes. No bikes Not here. Today. No. It's for later. Max is a bike enthusiast, man. Picker and flipper. Goes to auctions, buys bikes for twenty bucks, sells them for fifty thousand yeah. bucks. Oh, I Crazy. Would. There's like zero toys here. Like none. Clothes. Clothes, yeah. At least you're happy. At least you're finding stuff. Purse isn't close. You guys like my shirt? If you like my shirt, comment below. Let me know. Okay? Ooh. Stop looking at me, Schwan. Five dollars for the turtle. It's my friends at Kaboom. I got one of the best booths. <coughs> I'm gonna pick up some stuff, okay? Awesome. What's your like? What did you bring that's like really rare to the show? Like, what's what's your coolest piece right now? Your show piece. First appearance of Phoenix. Nice, nice. First First Venom. Venom. Yeah, there you go. This whole run of uh, older X Men's, right? Yeah. Very difficult find in oh. good condition. Yeah, and they're all these look great. But now what you're doing too with these is that you're sticking them in the Mylar, right? And that that makes them pop. Actually, it's not. It's called Mylite Plus. Is what it's called. Okay. Right. And the Mylite Plus, uh, you get hundred in the package instead. But yes, they're not as thick as the Mylite Twos, but they're much more palatable and easier to fold. Okay. And they and they and the, and the space that they take up inside of a box. The Mylar Twos are much thicker. Right? Yeah. yeah. Much thicker. This is the only other book I would take in that way. Oh, that's cool. That's the number one. That's the first one. That's the first one. Yep. First, first Transformer. It's not in the greatest of shape because it's like a hundred to two hundred dollar book, right? That's why it's the price that it's in. But still, it will move. Yeah, it'll move. You know why it's going to move? Because uh, it's Kaboom. Because I'm going to buy it. That's Shh. why, man. That's a cool book. There you go. Yeah, yeah, number you one's go. fine. Thanks, See, Kaboom. I didn't even. That's I didn't a fine. Even haggle. You know, unless you want to give me back five bucks and then I can get, <laughs> have a really good deal. And I'll get myself a coffee, that'd be nice. You don't want to do that, eh? Because no, you don't want to do that. I saw the other wad of his money in. <laughs> yeah. All right, man, thank you. All right. Thank you. I just had a baby girl. I see that. Yeah. Congratulations. Maybe I'll buy her her first comic. This is the Scooby-Doo team up. Okay, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy. This would be something I'd put away for. Absolutely. You know? Tell me about that. 75. And see, so you see that that. Yeah, can you explain the, um, well, the grading? You, the grading on this? Well, so the sequence works like this it goes from 0 0.5 through to 10. But finding a 10 is, it has to literally come off the printing press in order to make yeah. that happen. And so what they do is they, the sequence goes, you ship it in, they sequence, go through everything, make sure everything is, go through, it goes through like four different people to make these, to get the, to get to this number. And that's the average that they chose. When they come up with that number, that's the average between the four people. So they all agreed this was 9.8, which is the highest you're gonna buy mm. without coming out, without getting off the printing press. And what's nice about that too is you have a third party that certifies that there's no pages missing, that it's in top condition, and that it's uh, it's never going to degrade. It's never, it's and because it's degrade. slab, and the slabbing is the other thing as well, is that it protects it, to, protects it for water resistant. It, it doesn't protect it from light, but there are ultraviolet covers that you can layer over top of that to prevent light from, uh, from damaging. Okay, so I just got a little girl there. Can you do a little something? I certainly can. Okay, what can you do for me and my little, my little lady? Well, so it has a 75 on it, right? And I would be glad to do like 60, 60 bucks, man. Can I give you a hug? Uh, you weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Nice. So my buddy's gonna give me this for uh, 60 is bucks. For Callie? This is for Callie. I'm gonna put this away. So I'm gonna put that away for her, mm -hmm. and she can have that when she turns 30. She can do whatever she wants with it. Her Callie's got her first comic book. Yeah. Oh, it's probably not a good idea. Looks so cute. Here we go. 
All right, so that kind of wraps it up for the uh, the flea market uh, for today. Uh, Melissa found a lot of cool stuff, shirts and whatever. Mom got a few pieces of clothing too. Keith didn't spend all his money, but Keith, you can keep the uh, last 10 bucks for a pack of smokes. <laughs> How's that sound, huh? Oh, any better with I'm generous, I'm generous, you know? Anyway, I found some comic books, got Callie your first piece of investment, a nice slab, and then I uh, I found a cool lunchbox. But uh, I'll tell you, this this place is hey, no problem. It was fun. Those are pretty neat, huh? Yeah, but you know what? Not a lot of toys. Um, I'm hoping that the next show that they do will be a lot more uh, cool toys. It's a lot of clothing here. Um, some some knickknacks, some, some other cool stuff. But yeah, overall a good day. I spent too much money, though, I'll be honest. Uh, I thought they might have had some tools, or some, like leather leather crafts and stuff. None, none of that. I didn't see anything like that. No, none of that. And what they did have, I thought, was just a tad touch expensive. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're right. Like, this place is a little bit more retail than uh, yeah, flea market. Exactly. They didn't have flea market pricing. The flea That's you normally go to have all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. I love you too. Yeah, but not as much as toys. <laughs> Thank you so much for checking out the Toy Time Machine. If you like this video, comment below, let me know, please subscribe and share, and do me a huge favor, check out the Toy Time Machine on Facebook.